Martin Johnson is widely considered to be one of the finest lock forwards ever to have played rugby. He toured three times with the British and Irish Lions and is the only man ever to have captained them on two separate tours. He was also, of course, the England captain when England won the World Cup in 2003. <laughs> He is at present team manager of the England Rugby Union 15. Martin was born in Solihull in the West Midlands. When he was seven years old, the family moved to Leicestershire. So Martin was educated in rugby and much else at Ridgeway Primary and at Robert Smythe School in Market Harborough. He was selected for the England school side in 1987. On leaving school, Martin Johnson joined the Midland Bank, now part of HSBC, in Harborough. This job taught him to think carefully about his own finances, but it was also good training for rugby. He found that he could carry more bags of coins than anyone else. <laughs> Martin joined the Leicester Tigers youth team in 1988 and first played for them in the then Premier League in 1989. He also spent two summers, 1989 and 1990, playing for King County in New Zealand. In the latter year, he played for the All Blacks under-21 side against Australia. Fortunately for English rugby, Martin returned to this country for good in late 1990. He was in time to be selected for the England under-21 side. Martin Johnson played senior rugby for the Tigers from 1989 to 2005, a long career. He was captain of his team from 1997 until 2005. In these years, Leicester Tigers played better and more successfully than they have before or indeed since, even though without Martin, they are still one of the best sides in the country. They were Premiership champions six times between 1994 and 2002 and won the Heineken Cup for two successive years. In all, he played 307 times for the Tigers before retiring from competitive rugby in 2005. His testimonial match at Twickenham was one of the biggest rugby events of that year. A crowd of 42,000 watched Martin's 15 beat an invitation side led by the incomparable Jonah Lomu, returning to rugby after a kidney transplant, 33 to 29. The proceeds were all donated to children's and cancer charities. Martin is a patron of our local charity, Hope Against Cancer. Now, 15-man rugby, rugby union football, is perhaps the ultimate team game. And Martin Johnson believes in teamwork in rugby as in life. It's also a very technical sport in which it's essential that every member of the team knows precisely what the others are doing and will do. This understanding is particularly important for lock forwards, who, as invariably the tallest man in the side, are crucial at lineouts and so need to know all the possible moves. These characteristics of the game made Martin Johnson's England debut against France in 1993 even more dramatic than it would normally have been. He was due to play in the Friday B International when he was unexpectedly summoned to Twickenham to replace the injured Wade Dooley. He turned out with virtually no preparation except for an emergency 20-minute line-out session. An early accidental clash of heads with the French prop left him temporarily concussed, but he recovered to play superbly. England won the match 16-15. From then until his retirement from international rugby, Johnson was a fixture in the England side, winning 84 caps. In his time, England won the RBS Six Nations five times. He was team captain from 1999, moving England away from their earlier forward-dominated style to a, a more attractive 15-man style, which proved to be very successful. 
England under Martin Johnson achieved a grand slam of five victories in the 2003 RBS Six Nations Tournament. In that summer, he led them in a successful tour of New Zealand and Australia, beating the All Blacks at home for the first time in 30 years. This was followed in the autumn by the World Cup, which England won. Johnson's performance in the final against Australia was exceptional, totally dominant in the line-out, effective in tight exchanges, and cool-headed enough to set up the position for Wilkinson's drop goal, which won the game in the 100th minute of play. The honours that followed included the award of a CBE by Her Majesty the Queen. Martin was appointed team manager of the England team in April 2008. They had undistinguished results against Southern Hemisphere sides that autumn, improved to win four games and come second in the 2009 Six Nations, and mixed success in last autumn's internationals. In his time as manager, Martin has not had the benefit of a stable team due to injuries. As I said, above all, rugby is a team game, and a stable team is essential for success at the very highest level. We wish him and the team fewer injury problems and more success in the imminent 2010 Six Nations. To conclude, I can do no better than to quote the early day motion presented to the House of Commons five years ago. This House congratulates Martin Johnson on his outstanding contribution to Leicester Tigers, England and the British Lions over the last 15 years, culminating in England's World Cup victory in Sydney in November 2003, after success at club, international and Lions level. This House praises him for the respect in which he has held throughout the world of sport and wishes him every success in his retirement. The Senate and Council of this university fully concurred with these sentiments when they offered him an honorary degree in the same year. Such are his commitments that this is the first occasion since then when I can say, Mr. Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and the Council, I present to you Martin Johnson that you may confer upon him the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws. So I make it to the other Doctor of Laws, Martin Mary Thank you very much. Chancellor, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Um, firstly, I'm, I'm deeply honoured um, to be here and receive this award. I do apologise for the time it's taken for me to actually arrive and, and, uh, <laughs> and take it, but uh, I've been fairly busy in the last few years, but uh, sorry about that. Um, I do also see the irony of a, a doctor of laws, um, the amount of times I've broken the laws of the, the game of rugby union that I played in my rather checkered um, career there, so uh, I do understand the irony there. I, uh, coincidentally, I actually made my debut for Leicester uh, Rugby Club, the Tigers, against Leicester University, uh, my senior debut for the third team, uh, way back in 1987. Um, and I, I remember the day distinctly, I think our grizzled um, third team members of sort of older players all thought it was a bit of student bashing would take place and they would enjoy their Saturday afternoon out. Unfortunately for us, um, one of the players that left the university, but maybe your most distinguished rugby alumni, Tony Underwood, was playing for, for the university. And uh, when he got the ball, I think he scored a couple of tries and, and we actually lost the game. So um, a bit of a coincidence, I actually made my debut against Leicester University. But um, I'm deeply proud of, of, uh, of the county and the city. And um, when you receive awards after you've achieved something, it's, it's just fantastic to be here in Leicester um, to, to receive this award from, from my hometown and my home city. So I thank you again for that. Uh, I'd just like to congratulate everyone here who's, um, who's worked incredibly hard to, uh, to receive that. Well, you feel a little bit uh, false sort of sat there when you, you guys have all put years of hard work into to get there and I, I get something almost for, feels like for nothing. But uh, 
I am very grateful and, uh, and honoured to receive that award. And uh, again, well done to everyone and, uh, and good luck to your futures. Thank you.